Bringing people together is something our next guest does so well. We're grateful to have an opportunity to talk to him about his brand new show. We're talking about an incredible entrepreneur who started his college at Harvard, then he went to Stanford Law, he was a host on CNN, MSNBC, started his own media company called Ozzy, and now he has his own show named after him. Carlos Watson, great having you with us, and what have you created? You know, we started the Carlos Watson show knowing that this was a moment that felt different uh, even than the last couple of years. I think between the Black Lives Matter protests, uh, the pandemic, the recession, it felt like this was in many ways kind of the most consequential year since 1968. And rather than just have uh, great comedians on the air, thought that we needed a talk show, an interview show that brought lots of people to the table, con, but did it in a way that uh, maybe was a little more serious, a little more substantive, a little more in depth. And so that's how we ended up uh, starting our new show. Well, Carlos, I can't wait to tune into your show. You've interviewed some of my favorites, including uh, George Lopez, Malcolm Gladwell, the famous author of Tipping Points. And what's your spin on interviews that uh, kind of sets you apart? Yeah, one of the things that we're doing on the show, whether we've got Malcolm Gladwell on the air with us or uh, you've got someone like Don Spicer or you've got a comedian like George Lopez is not only getting a chance uh, uh, to know their work, but also their backstory uh, a little bit. I think so often we know just these public faces, but not where they came from and how they came to do what they did. And so we want to get into some of that. But with Malcolm Gladwell, the conversation touched on everything from the most recent protest to how he looks at some of his original work. Like, does he still uh, embrace it fully or has he started to think differently about some of the things he wrote about in The Tipping Point and Outliers? And uh, he was terrific. I really like him. He's also, by the way, a car junkie. Who knew that Malcolm Gladwell uh, was all into cars? That's quite interesting. I didn't know that about Malcolm, which makes him uh, probably love to meet Jay Leno. As we know, he's got his own car show. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, they uh, they both were uh, 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 they both would be uh, be good at that. You know what? The comedians have been have been a real highlight for me. Uh, we had George Lopez, um, uh, Tashina Arnold, uh, and a couple of other really good folks. And I got to tell you, I'm reminded how much in the midst of this crazy world we just need to laugh sometimes. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, uh, a number of the folks we've had on the show like that. Carlos, I couldn't agree more. Laughter is so needed. I love how you, though, how you bring people together. But tell us a little bit about you left some major media companies to start your own. Tell us a little bit about Aussie Media. Yeah, so we're based in California. We're in the Bay Area, but obviously interviewing folks all around the world. Um, and uh, um, we've had to do it in a way that keeps everybody safe and everyone healthy. So we're Zooming from one guest to another. So whether we've got an actor like Maggie Siff um, or uh, uh, whether we have a Politico like Karen Bass, uh, we're kind of doing it safe from where we are. Um, although I've got to tell you, uh, Con, I kind of miss being with people in person. You know, I, uh, earlier in my career, I, uh, uh, I anchored and hosted at, at CNN and at MSNBC, and uh, it was nice when you were able to sit down with people in person. Um, but this has been special. Many times people are inviting you into their homes now uh, in this latest setup. Well, Carlos, we are certainly thrilled for you. Congratulations on this brand new show and given your tremendous success and well-deserved, what do you think is the key to bringing people together? Because you do it so well. Maybe what's one tip? I, you know, I, I, I hope part of what works for me, Con, is that I'm, I'm open, that I'm uh, genuinely curious about other people's stories, that uh, I'm, I'm open to hearing uh, even points of view that I think I may disagree with pretty meaningfully. And uh, I know so often these days that we seem like we're only punching each other in the face uh, in the midst of interviews and conversations. But I've tried as best I can to take a slightly different tack. And hopefully that actually ends up with a more interesting, more revealing, more compelling conversation. Well, I love that you think freshly, I bet you're curious, and we can't wait to tune in to see your spin on interviewing, which really sounds fascinating and interesting. I know that I will learn some things or two, but more importantly, thank you for sharing time with us, Carlos. Congratulations, and I know that we're both from Miami, so uh, you're making the city proud. Hey, Con, my pleasure, and good to be on with, uh, with another Miamian.